Hello gang, my name is Mwembe Ko. It is now 2.45 in the morning where I am at. I've got a hot cup of tea, I've got my cigarettes, and this is a point and click indie horror game for free. It's called Sepulchre. And let's check out what it's all about. And the wicked shall hold their tongues. They stir <clears throat> beneath this silent world of saints and sinners, twixt the living and the dead. <coughs> Train's still going. I can't have slept long. We left. Uh, we left. When did we leave? Where did we leave? God damn. It's unnervingly quiet. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe I should fetch some water. The restaurant should be open now. Okay, interact and examine. Alrighties. So we're on a train, uh, but we don't know where we're going and where we were from. Let's see if there's anything interesting to click on. I don't want to be carting a book around unnecessarily. Come on, it's just a book. The Charnel House Burial by Louis Cassell. <laughs> to think I don't get enough of the dead without pulp horror novels. Uh, just one vice. Pulp horror novels are really fun to read. No sense in taking the entire thing. Oh, you are a lazy bastard. You don't want to take the book. Now you don't even want to take uh, the bag. What do we have here then? Wallet. Yes. Dr. Lang, curator of the Krennicon Thames Museum. That's me, all right. So we're a doctor. Mm, right, I see. Uh, let's get out of our cabin. And we'll see. Let's go stir up a drink or two. <coughs> Excuse me? Maybe something strong is in order. Clear the head. I agree. Something strong. Like a shot of vodka okay. or something. Okay, I'm Dr. Harold Lang. My destination is Augur Peak Island. I'm on this train to... <coughs> I'm, I'm going to evaluate some finds. They called me to... Okay, that cough though. <laughs> I don't know if that's fake. That sounds all fake, but... Apparently, he's Dr. Harold Lang. And we're supposed to go somewhere, but we don't know what we're supposed to do. Uh, let's go and click on this picture. A painting of an old train. I don't think the ticket inspector would be too happy with me if I took it. Dude, seriously? You're not even looking at the bloody picture, you're looking at the freaking door. Dude. That's a painting better. of a train. Is it this one? No, looks too old. Maybe an ancestor. A picture of an old train, okay. I get it, I get it. Let's go and talk to this old dude over here. Hello, sir. Good evening, my friend. I was wondering if you could... Ah, yes. I've seen you poking around. Having trouble settling down, are we? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Could do with a stiff drink about now? Right you are, then. Right you are, then. Is that Scottish? I think that's a Scottish accent. I'm not sure. Uh, painting. That painting on the wall. Isn't she a beaut? Runs like clockwork, she does. It's this train. Uh, isn't it a little old? Hmm. <laughs> you kids today have got no appreciation of machinery. We've got to be the same age at best. Practically grew up on her, I did. What? Ain't nothing about old Gloria that I don't know. Same age? Dude, seriously, look at the dude. This guy's like 60-ish and you're, you're probably like, I don't know, 20-ish, 30 maybe. Are you okay, Dr. Harold Lang? Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. Alright, uh, let's go... Let's go and take the fire Can we take the fire extinguisher? Get the hell out of the way, Dr. Harold. I can't Lang. just cart around any old thing. Okay, what about this though? Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. Am I the only one in this train? That'd be weird though, if I'm the only person in the train. Locked? Isn't this the way out? 
Oh, right. So we are trapped in this particular carriage. Uh, okay. Let's go and talk to this old dude again. What's his name? I forgot his Great name. Great you are then. Uh, Don, his name is Don. Oh, keyhole. The door to the next carriage appears to be locked. Is that normal? Nothing's wrong, is it? <laughs> you city folk always jump to conclusions. Ain't nothing wrong, just how we do things when our guests are asleep. Prevents prying eyes and swift fingers. Mm. Isn't that a bit of a fire hazard? Pal, let me tell you. If a fire breaks out on this train, then no amount of carriage doors are going to save you from roasting. If you catch my drift, be a steel coffin if the unthinkable happened. Mm. Um, could you possibly unlock the door? I could really use a drink. Yeah, me too. I could use a drink. Don't right now, reckon I can. No. In fact, <laughs> I can give you the key though. On one condition. You're gonna take a sip of my tea. Oh, please don't tell me he's gonna ask me to solve some ridiculous conundrum. I'm not gonna give his. him a blowjob. Bring no? me back a shot of oh, whiskey when you get back. <laughs> Old Floyd, look you up. Just tell him it's for done. Oh, no problem, my friend. Thank you. Oh, Don, you old alcoholic, you. Um, what did he give us? Oh, oh, he gave us a key. Right, right, right. So, uh, it's a key. Okay. So, uh, right click to. Doctor Harold Lang, Krennic on Thames Museum, badge ID CCPN one three one eight. Okay. What is that? My uh, wallet. A bit of money. <coughs> Just Excuse what me. the doctor ordered. A bit of money. How much money are we talking about? How a much crisp is a bit? five pound note. A crisp five pound note. It's like only the English would use the word crisp. It's my credit card. Your credit card. Okay, fine, fair enough. And there's also something about the English accent that lends weight to anything, really. I think if this game was in, but it's just me, of course. If I think if this Locked. game, isn't this the way out? Oh come on! Use the key. Uh, as I was saying, I think if this, if the game was in uh, American or some other accent. Aha! Open. <coughs> Excuse me. Might be a little bit different. I don't know. Uh, ah! Better hurry to the restaurant. I don't want it to close before I can get Don's whiskey. Okay. Uh, what's this? A solemn-looking young woman. She's a little unnerving. It's bad enough looking at the picture, let alone carrying it around. Right, okay, you're not even looking at the picture again, dude. Seriously? Here. <laughs> a solemn looking young woman. She's seated on a chair. Her eyes are staring off at something just outside the picture's edge. It's a little unnerving. I feel like. I feel like I've seen a photograph like this before. If this wasn't up in a train carriage. Hmm. She doesn't look half bad, actually. She just needs some colour in her face. Probably some eyes as well. Uh and less spooky. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, better hurry to the restaurant. Don't want it to close before I can get Don's whiskey. Okay, okay, fine. Let's go into the restaurant and get Don's whiskey. Um is this the way to the restaurant? Locked. Damn. Do I not have a key? Can I use the key? Open sesame. No good. I can't even get the key in. Must be locked from the other side. Shish. Um, okay, let's go and find if. if wait, uh, let me. Ah, better hurry to the restaurant. Okay. Let's see if we can find another way into the restaurant. So far, the game's like a slow burner, I think. It, it's slowly. the plot is slowly starting to unravel as we figure out what the hell we're doing. The restaurant the is locked. This key's no <coughs> good. Ah. Floyd must be getting things ready. Just take your time, boy. Let him do his thing. He'll unlock it when he's good and ready. There's no rush, is there? Okay. Really? Ah. There's no rush, she says. Uh. A friendly-looking fellow makes a change for public <coughs> transport. What do we do then? Uh, I don't know. Every door is locked, really. Let's try the doors again. Locked. I think I can hear breathing inside. Mm. Faint sound of someone sleeping, perhaps. 
I won't disturb them further. Okay, so we're not alone. There are people in this train. Or are they? Locked. Okay, fine. Let's go in here. Locked. Oh, no, really? Oh, hello. Hello there. I'm sorry for the intrusion. I was just what? <laughs> what the fuck? He's muttering something. I can't make it out. I'm sorry? What was that? <laughs> Maybe I should be going. I'm sorry to have bothered you. I know who you are. He doesn't seem to be able to open his mouth properly. He's the cookie monster. I think guys. I'd better leave. As an old man. Maybe I should mention this to train. a ticket inspector. Um, what's this? What's this? This isn't mine. I probably <coughs> shouldn't even touch it. Grabbing other people's luggage is a bit of a faux pas. Let me tell you something, Dr. Harrell. Your hair is a bit of a faux pas. A huge black hole <laughs> looks very heavy. God knows what's inside. Hmm, a black hold all? What's a hold all? A bag? I can't maybe? just go grabbing someone <coughs> else's most prized possessions. Alright, let's try and A open beautifully it up. polished wooden box. It has a red, teardrop shaped gem set into the top. I can't open it. A beautiful. Okay, fine, whatever. Hello, there, again. <coughs> to you too. <laughs> okay, let's. Uh, I wonder if it's still locked though. Locked. Damn. God dang it, everything's locked. <clears throat> um. Dawn! Yo, Dawn! Uh, there seems to be a little bit of a problem. The restaurant's still locked. I'm not able to give you a shot of whiskey, you old alcoholic bastard. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you a bastard. Ah, grub. Stop There's a food. man in one of the rooms in the next Wait, carriage. Huh? I don't think he's at all well. We're not talking about food? <laughs> I thought we were. We get some right crazies on the train, I'm <coughs> telling you. You learn to leave them be after a while. The the wretched man can barely speak. Hmm. Aye, and I'd be the same way after the amount of booze most of these lads have had. Is Floyd still not operating then? Not as far as I'm aware. Ah, well. Give the boy time. Hey. I saw one of your fellow passengers pop their head out of the room at the end of the corridor. Really? Maybe you get a better conversation out of her. Pretty little thing. Thanks. Mm. Um, Pretty are little you thing. Sure eh? that she was. What the fuck, Don? Hello. You were in mid conversation and you just fucking fall asleep. Yo. <laughs> I can't believe this old dude. I can't believe this old geezer. Uh, okay, alright. Um, I'm still having the same old shit. Uh, she said there was a pretty little thing right there on the corridor. Is this the one? Hello? Well, this was the right room. <coughs> Hello? Hmm. Maybe she left to, to the, for the toilet or something, I don't know. Something doesn't feel right about this. They're all the same. Hmm. Why would <coughs> everyone have the same luggage? I want to have a look inside, but these are somebody's bags. Well, maybe they all bought it from the same damn shop. More large bags. Uh, what's this on the table? Tissue paper? <laughs> As a child, I used to make origami like this. Oh, okay, origami. Where's the girl that ticket collector claims to have seen? I'm... Mm, I'm sure she won't miss just one. Oh, you thief, Dr. Harold Could Lang. You she are a thief. Be? Under the table? Boo! Jump. Nothing. But that <coughs> sounded awfully like a door unlocking in the next carriage. Is Floyd ready for business? Hmm. I'm sorry if I keep having to clear my throat. There's something around my throat. If, uh, throat feels a little bit itchy. What's this? I think I'll call him Sam. An origami, what is that? Supposed to be a dog? Sam? Alright. You lonely doctor. You're such a lonely man, doctor. That you would call an inanimate, that you would give names to an inanimate object. Uh, okay, let's go and see. Uh, wait, before we go to the restaurant. Uh, I don't think I should go back in there just yet. Oh, I was just gonna say hello to the old man. <laughs> like that. But, I guess the restaurant's open. Oh, wow! Food. Can we eat Food's food? getting cold. I haven't heard any sort of dinner bell. 
Are we supposed to just know when it's dinner time? Are any of these places for me, I wonder? Hmm. So there are people then. I mean passengers besides me at least, I think. Who is this dude? Is this Floyd? Good evening. Floyd, is it? Floyd, the bartender. Ah, Mr. Lang. How nice of you to join us. How do you know my it's name? It's Dr. Lang, actually. But uh, who needs formalities in a place like this? <laughs> Quite. I suppose you're here on business. Business? I, uh... A drink, Mr. Lang. That is what you're <clears throat> after, is it not? Perhaps a bite to eat first? Unfortunately, all our meals are reserved. By what? all means, have a drink, though. Call up a stall. I'd better not stay. Your ticket collector, Don, I think it was, has tasked me with procuring him a glass of whiskey. Oh, yes. He did leave his head flask here, thinking about it. It's right there on the bar. This one's on the house, Mr. Lang. Why, thank you, Floyd. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the voice, his voice, sounds awfully like uh, Stephen Merchant's. It's empty. You give me an empty glass flight? Really? Son of a bitch. Do I give him this? Flask's empty, Floyd. Better give me a shot of whiskey. No more freebies, I'm afraid, Mr. Lang. That'll be five pounds. Five pounds? You're burying me alive here. Five pounds? For a shot of whiskey? That's like... What? <clears throat> Eleven dollar sing? That's not the same price. Oh, five pounds. Here we go, man. Here you go, my good man. That's what I said. Better hit me with another. Mm. The excess is the path to ruin, Mr. Lang. We wouldn't want you to go before your time, would we? Don't tell me if I can drink just or not. One more drink. That's what they all say, isn't it, Mr. Lang? Just one more for the road. I can handle it. Never had difficulty driving before. And what about your liver, Mr. Lamb? <laughs> can that handle just one more drink? God damn, Floyd. You always were a preachy son of a bitch, weren't you? I think you're quite mistaken, Mr. Lang. We've never met, you and I. I just don't want you to do yourself an injury. I can handle one more goddamn drink, you stupid bitch. Ooh. Just stay out of my way and I'll stay out of yours. Feisty. That's right, Mr. Lang. Let it all out. <laughs> There's a good <coughs> little puppy. <coughs> what the hell? <coughs> what did... Sorry about that. Excuse me. Shit. I need to go, Floyd. It's been a pleasure, as always. Aren't you forgetting your promise, Mr. Lang? What Whiskey promise? Oh yeah. For Don. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I almost forgot about that. Whiskey for Don. That's right. May I suggest you simply take the bottle back to your room? Whether you decide to give it to Don or not is your call. Ah, I appreciate that gesture, Mr. Floyd. Thank you for not denying a man his drink. Uh, what do, we, what do we do? Do I take the flask? Once more unto the breach, dear friends. <laughs> I'm afraid you can't just take it, Mr. Lang. No matter how much you might wish to. How much? It's not cheap, I'm afraid. Forty pounds should do it. I don't have that much money on me. I'm sure you'll find a way, <coughs> Mr. Lang. You always do. Forty pounds? Not a problem. You accept credit cards, dude? Here we go, my friend. Okay. Here goes. Goodbye, bank balance. If you just enter your pin. Oh shit, my pin? Now, what was my pin? I remember setting a number I can identify easily. No good with memorizing numbers. My pin number? Oh Jesus Christ, uh, I don't know, 666? Pin it incorrect. I don't know, 999? Nine, nine, nine? God damn it. Uh, what's our pin? Oh, wait, uh, there was that number on our. On our uh, wait, wait. Dr. Harold Lang, Krennic on Thames Museum, badge ID CCPN 1318. 1318, there we go. Do oh, shit. No, 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 no. 1318. Once more. Okay. Let's I don't have that up. Come on. 
One three one eight, eh? Okay. Okay. Here goes. Goodbye, bank balance. If you just enter your pin. Forty pounds. That's more money than I have in my wallet. In my bank account. One three one um, eight. Was it? Okay. Pin accepted. Genius. Well done. Thank you, Floyd. No, thank you, Mr. Lang. Well, thank you, Floyd. All right. Um. There's something awfully familiar about that conversation we had with the bartender, Mr. Floyd. Something what odd about it. What the hell it. is happening to me? Oh, my head. I can't think. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lang, <laughs> that pale man you met. I think he just wants a best friend. Perhaps you're not quite what he's looking for. You are, after all, blind drunk. Hey, hey. Watch your mouth, Floyd. I may be drunk, but I'm not blind. Anyway, what pale man? What pale man? He was like, oh, this dude. This dude, this pale man. Hello. Cookie monster. You're lonely. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> I think Floyd was right. He doesn't seem to be warming to me, though. Um. I can't just cart around okay, any okay. old thing. Do, what do I do? I can't just go grabbing someone else's most prized pos. Okay, can we examine A it? beautifully pop. He's a lonely. What? Am I supposed to give him something? Um. G give him. Give him the origami, Sam. Worth a try, I suppose. Hmm. Hey, sir. This isn't quite man's best friend, but. <laughs> seems to have done the trick. <laughs> I think he wants me to open it. What, my pants? Sir, you cheeky devil, you. Oh no, you mean the box. Right. <laughs> There's an engraving here. Hmm. He whose blood the earth's dark thirst doth quench ascends unto the heavens from her womb. Interesting. I have no idea what that means. What do we do? Locked. Oh, it's locked. Locked. Um, so we're supposed to find a key to open the box, is that it? It's firmly attached. But, hey, I think I can move it. Really? A beautiful t Oh. Oh, I see. Ah. ah. Open. Oh! The box is filled with earth and worms. They're everywhere. Why would he lock something like this away? Earth and worms? What the f... In a box? Oh, can, can I do anything? Um, I don't think there's anything we can do. Dude, seriously? You wanted me to open a box full of earth and worms? He's playing with the dog. Best leave him. Curiouser and curiouser. Some really weird people on this train though. Um, let's go back to Floyd. Oh uh, no, let's go back to uh, d uh, what's his name, Don, and give him his whiskey. So I'm pretty sure the old geezer must be thirsty. Uh, so far, so good. Though. I really like the game, though. It's a very simple point and click. Just follow the storyline. Uh, see what happens. Oh God, damn it! You're still asleep, Don. Uh, I'll give you a flask. Ah. Uh. Oh shit! Oh, my bad. That's no good, son. My bad, my bad. Sorry, sorry. Um, we're we supposed to mix it together. Oh, damn! There we go, Don. Well, well, you really came through for an old man, boyo. Boyo. Talk about dramatizing it. You can't be any older than thirty-five. Dude, seriously? Are you blind? Let's make the night pass by just that little bit easier. That reminds me, I never did find that girl in this carriage. Girl? What are you talking about, pal? Wait, what? There's no girl on this train. But you said... No, it's not nice to what go mess with old Don's head here? just because he's had a sniff of whiskey. But you know, I like you, Lang. You got spirit. 
Well, thanks. No, you got the spirit in your girl, hands. <laughs> you get it, told get me it. you saw her. Mm. Reckon I didn't. <laughs> and you know what? It's the craziest damn thing. You're just about the only soul I've seen on this train tonight. Oh, no way, no Not way. Not normally like that. Even Floyd's usually around. Must be his night off. F Flight just Floyd is around. I got the whiskey from him, remember? And what about the sick passenger in the next car? No seen MD around, son. Oh. You know what I need on a night like this? A good book. Can it be a good novel and a drink? A good book, eh? Can it? Can it, eh? Let's get this. Let's get this. Sorry. Let's got this. Wait, have so you have done me? the works of Louis Cassell? There's nobody in Can here you say in the I've heard of him? He's a horror writer. In fact, he lives on Augur Peak Island. Augur Peak Island? Never heard of it. Isn't that where we're going? Well, <clears throat> I have one of his novels somewhere. That would be just the ticket. <laughs> get it? I get it. I get it. So you want the book? Okay, we'll go and get the book then. Um, okay. Let's go and get the old Scottish fool his um, book. Hope Don likes it as much as I did. Okay, that sounded wrong when I say old Scottish fool. I don't mean to say that Scots are foolish. Ah, never mind. I'm sorry. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, okay, here we go down. Have a book. The f <laughs> Seriously. Huh. Guess you won't be wanting the novel after all. Let's leave him be. This old dude is sleeping, standing up. That's some mad skills right there, man. Let's see what's on the floor. Uh, no. He might want it when he wakes up. Alright, uh, what's this? Looks like a key. Well, why not? The key to 2A. Maybe I'll find this mysterious girl. 2A. Alright, and off we go to meet this mysterious girl. Mysterious girl, I wanna get close to you. Peter Andre, I haven't heard this song in a long time though. The oh, okay, shit, I forgot. There we go. Wait, where's the girl? There's still nobody here. Dude. I want to have a look inside, but this is somebody's bag. Okay. Can I examine Another it? large bag. This is starting to get very, very unpleasant. Hmm. Something weird is going on here. More photos of that girl from the picture in the corridor. She's sitting in different seats around a house. What is it about these pictures? My God! They're Victorian death pictures! I thought as much. I can't take this. <laughs> what the hell is this place? Am I even awake? I... <laughs> <coughs> Victorian death pictures? What the hell are Victorian death pictures? My god! They're Victorian death... Pictures of death in the Victorian times? Shuttered and sealed. Just like in my room. What? Pictures of... A dead girl named Victoria? What the hell? Uh, let's go back to Floyd. Uh, he might be able to give us some answers because he's a bartender. Bartender always have answers, I think. Great, it's fucking locked. I don't have anything else. Uh, okay. Dawn! You, Dawn! I need to ask you a question. What are Victorian death pictures? Can you explain that to me, please, Dawn? <coughs> Dawn! Yo, what the f- what the f- I don't want to. I don't want to see. Oh. God, get me out of this place. What have I done? Huh. Really? This wasn't here before. It's slightly unzipped. I can see the whiskey flask sticking out. Oh god. This, uh, so, why are you trying to tell me that- It's locked. Everyone on the train is basically dead. So we've been talking to sp like the souls or the spirits or something. This is kind of like that movie I watched. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Death Train or something, starring uh, Christopher Lee. I think it's a really old nineteen. It was a nineteen seventies film. I think it's one of those really cl Hammer classic films. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody knows what the hell I'm talking about, but yeah, where there's two characters on the train. And they go around telling stories like horror stories in the train. 
Only to realize at the end that they're already dead. And everyone in the train is dead as well. Where's the um the dude with the the <laughs> voice? I can't do this anymore. I want to wake up. It's fucking thing is moving. It's moving. It's twitching. Please God, don't make me look. I think it's called Terror Train or Train of Terror or something. <sighs> Wait. This can't be here for no reason. Hmm. There's a thin crack around the base of the train, as if it opens. I can't get my nails in the gap. Is there anything else we can click? No. <clears throat> Let's check out the train real quick. There's a thin crack around the base of the train, as if it opens. I can't get my nails in the gap. There's a thin crack. Let's try this. There. Oh, fucking works. Apart. Some kind of thin key inside. Right, right, right. I see. So what the fuck? So yeah, I think I think everyone is dead in the train, including me, probably. So, uh, oh, what the fuck? I can't even look at it, let alone touch it. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> but no. <clears throat> so everything is. Everything has gone to shit. Destroyed. All destroyed. I can't even smell the booze. It's like this happened years ago. What the hell could have done this? Years ago. So all the alcohol has been has evaporated. <clears throat> can we go in? Wait, wait, can we open the door? No, it doesn't seem like can we do anything else here? It's just confirmed. Destroyed. Okay. No, there's nothing here. There's a bag. Oh wait. Oh God, it's slumped against the door. Floyd. Don. Oh, my God. Hmm. So yeah, so everyone that we've spoken to is actually dead, and I think the black bag is kind of like a like it's something symbolic, like the. Like a body bag or a coffin or I don't know something like that, and we're probably dead as well. We just don't know it yet. I have a strange feeling. Hmm, interesting, interesting. That's like a, that's a that's horror on a very cerebral, psychological level. Maybe. Uh, what's this? I forgot what this is. It's locked. It's locked. It's not <coughs> anymore because I have a key. I don't think so. Wait, what the fuck? Let me try again. The panel is open. <coughs> There's a switch marked shutters. 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 Uh, could it be? Could it have something to do with the windows, perhaps? No, it's not. Let's get into our room. Uh, what kind of horrors will we find in our room? Wait, it's locked. Our room is locked. Seriously? Who the fuck locked our rooms? Okay, all the doors are locked. Uh, all right. This is weird, guys. So let's try to be. <coughs> uh, to see. Um, every door's locked. Restaurant's locked too. Shit. What do we do? Did I miss something out? Is it gonna be like a jump scare somewhere? <laughs> So all the doors were locked. Um, this one, this one was locked as well, right? This one is locked. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, I don't know. The train's picking up speed. Ah. Okay. So what now? Try again. Uh, this picture. A painting of an old train. A painting of a train. Uh, is it this one? Oh, it's the same dialogue they had just now. Let's go into our room. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, shit. I need the light, no matter how erratic. It's not good. Let's go and check our bag. Nope. Um, window? 
I'll just slide it open. Oh, we can open it now? What the hell is no. that? No. No. Dear God, what is this? Earth. Hmm. Nothing but earth pressed tight against the window. This can't have just happened. This can't be happening. Uh, um, Earth, so we're... Yeah, that's right, we probably did. Earth. We're all dead. This is like a... I can't breathe. Yeah. There's no air. <coughs> Katrina. Please. Forgive me. Wait, who's Katrina? Did I miss something up? Is is this it? Is this the end of the game? Huh. I was right. So we so we we've been dead the whole time. And man looked down upon the earth and the earth crawled up to meet him. A weaker cell. Hmm. Uh, that's it. Written and directed by Ashton Reyes. Ah, uh, it's a pretty good game. I liked it, I liked it. Uh it's just a very simple point and click uh short game. Um, I might put the link in the description if any guys, if any of you guys wanna check the game out, I wanna download it for free or something. Um, well, in any case, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you like what you see, click the like button, put a comment, put a comment, <laughs> and subscribe and all that kind of jazz. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.